Sag, welcome to your general love reading. I hope all is well and fabulous for you. What's going on, please? What's going on, please, for Sagittarius? Some of you might have a, hmm, a sexy new pathway to commitment there. That's for some of you. Ace of Wands to the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, yes. Nice. Mm. The idea is one maybe leads to the other. Am I right? What's going on, please? What's going on, please? What's going on, please? If you're new to my channel, welcome. You will note I'm a little bit different and happy to be so. I have a sense of humor and I also swear if either of those things do not appeal to you, I promise you right now this channel is not for you. Okay? Peace be with you. Go your own way. No problems. But if you do like my energy, if you do like my vibe, if you do like how I direct talk to you, please let me know. Like, share, maybe even subscribe. I appreciate you. What's going on for that Sagittarian energy? Oh. It's wants to tell and some of you are interested in a Scorpio and for some of you there might be something interesting going on around work hmm. perhaps some of you are expecting something to show up at work that could be a literal translation for some of you with some good old sexy sexy communication ace of wands to the eight of wands eh? yeah hmm. that's for some of you not all of you sometimes I pay attention to the split sometimes I don't what's going on please so what I need to see, please, for that Sagittarian energy. What's up? What's up? See, I'm telling you, something about work keeps showing up. We get... Hello. Reverse imaging. We're not used to it. The hair font, Taurus, and then the Eight of Pentacles. So if you have Taurus in your chart, please do pay attention. If you're dealing with Taurus, um, again, there you go. Something to do with work. There's some interest... Oh, my God. Good night. Capricorn and Taurus right there. Heavy earth energy. What's up? Hmm. We got a little battle of wills here. Don't do it. Do it. Don't do it. Do it. Don't do it. I hate them to I hate to reduce them both to that, but if they had that kind of personification of the, the good guy on her shoulder and the bad guy. Often these two can be just as opposing. What's in our best interest, our moral code and fortitude, can often lead us down the worst pathways where what we think is bad can actually prove to be the best. You know, that's, the, that's what happens when we subject ourselves to black and white thinking. What we tell ourselves to be true because it was written down somewhere in a law book about a thousand years ago may not hold true for us. What we've been taught is bad may not be. It may be the best thing for us. Or it could be good is good and bad is bad. The point of black and white thinking is that it actually often causes problems. Okay, so that's for some of you, not all of you. All right. You know, and that's the only problem I always had with that depiction of the little white angel and the, the black devil or the red devil, you know. Really? <laughs> Life is not that simple, you know. I know people want it to be because it saves confusion and time, but that doesn't mean it's good for you. Now, what's going on, please? What's going on, please? What's going on, please? Hmm, holding back, holding on. That's fascinating. This is fascinating. You're st Dude, seriously, what? 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 What with the hair font? What about the hair font? Confirmation. Okay. You. Whoever I'm talking to, you... You, what about, what about, <laughs> it's not for me, honey, it's for you. I don't know, some of y'all straight up dealing with Taurus, so you have strong Taurus placement. What's going on? What is up? What is up? Just, just, it's all about this, this, this energy here. Because it's to do with your commitment, let's we'll take it out of the Taurus box. Because uh, it's to do with commitment, yeah? Or your spiritual beliefs. Okay. All right, what's up? This is interesting, sorry. Mm. 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 Love that. Uh, Waterloo. Uh, bubble water. Waterloo. I prefer Waterloo. I like it. They make an excellent coconut. Not really flavor, but you know what I mean. Shared recent past, please. Shared recent past, please. Shared recent past, please. Between Sag and their person. If you pull the hair font again, I'm going to not laugh. That is your energy. Nine of Wands. Blockage. Defensive. Angry. Frustration, frustration, frustration. Why are you frustrated, honey? Why are you frustrated? It's typically just straight up blockage, but this one has a specific note of frustration to it straight out the gate. Why are you frustrated, honey? Why are you frustrated? What's the shared current? Shared current, shared current, shared current. 
Nine of Cups. It was in the reverse. I do not read the baseline in reverse. It came out this way. We're not happy. You are your person physically disconnected. Knight of Wands, the Five of Pentacles. Our sexual energy is blocked. Frustration. We're not happy. Neither one of you. Neither one of you is happy. Okay. Can I get a better idea of the shared mutual, please? Can I get a better idea of the shared mutual? That's for some of you, not all of you. Show me that shared mutual. You're both frustrated. Shared mutual. You're both telling yourself to move on. Six of Swords. You both are. You're both telling yourself, energetically speaking, to move on. The Queen of Swords. It's somebody made a firm decision here to end things, possibly for some of you, not all of you. The Queen of Swords. She can be cold. Kind of a bitch. But she wouldn't have done it if she didn't have the necessary facts to make a decision. So, you might have ended something with somebody. Somebody might have ended things with you. And they came off cold, but they're also like, but this is what I know to be true. You both made a determination to move forward, energetically speaking, move on with your lives to heal. Oh, but that doesn't mean we're any less frustrated. Show me Sag's independent energy, please. Oh, <laughs> show me Sag, okay. King of Cups. Your independent energy is lovely, open-hearted. To what or who we shall see, but your heart seems to be open. You have your heart, free, your heart space freed up when you lost this connection. King of Pentacles, underline that. Taurus, Scorpio, doesn't have to be. Frustrated, frustrated blockage. You both agreed to move forward. Your heart space seems to be open to the King of Cups. Underlying is the King of Pentacles. I need to see this. And you just, perhaps you moved on and you feel better. That could be the long and short of it. Show me this other person, please. Who is it? Who is it? The truth. The truth. The truth as in, okay, this is my vision and it's clear as hell. And I'm not confused about my pathway because it's the sword. It's what I intellectually know to be true. And uh, with my sword, I create the pathway. So there is no confusion here. And then there's also taking the obvious path because it's not confusing. That's the only problem with the Ace of Swords. It's the most obvious path because it offers the most clarity. It doesn't necessarily mean it's the best for us. King of Pentacles is looking at that world. We tried to bring something together and it would not come together. The King of Pentacles had a decision to make to open that world or to close it. It's either you or them. There was inspiration behind it with the Three Cups energy. Fascinating. Some of the future of this connection, please. For, so For God's sake. Well, the sun. Happiness. If you're willing to work on it. That's for some of you. Ace of Pentacle. There is the offer possibly of something tangible to work with. The hair font again. I'll be ducked with the Ace of Wands. With the Ace of Wands. What are we doing, Sag? Are we coming or going? You don't seem to know either. You don't seem to know. The obvious, the pathway, the clear. There's nothing wrong with this. There's nothing. It's natural. It's natural to me. I feel it. What's in front of the sun, please? What's in front of the sun, please? Does this actually make me happy? Is this actually my pathway? What's in front of the sun, please? Five of Pentacles, we are disconnected, yeah? What's in front of the Five of Pentacles, please? What's in front of that Five of Pentacles, please? You are so close, man. You're so fucking close. You can touch it. You are so close. You can touch this idea of the sun. You are so close to it. This idea of happiness. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You are so close to this. The sun is the happiest fucking card in the deck. 
You can't get any happier than the sun in terms of pathway, life goals, love, that kind of thing. And you're disconnected from this idea of what Page of Cups is so small. It's like you could have glory. The, the glory is at your fingertips, but your heart space situation is so small from that which you are disconnected, and that's the one you would have glory with. I don't... You need to give it a damn good think with that hermit energy that you're fighting yourself uselessly. Show me the advice, please. Show me the advice, please. Show me the advice, please. Perhaps you are better on your own. The one you want is the one you say you cannot have. Three of Swords and the Six of Cups. This is the one you fight yourself with internally. The one you wish you could communicate with. So this is Queen of Cups. The one that you want is the one you say you cannot have. The one that would make you happy is the one you say you cannot have. That we are just connected and it has to stay that way. Okay. Show me the overall, please. 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 Two of Pentacles. You have not... The idea has not left you yet. It has not left you yet. You still juggle toy with this idea. Um, you have to be aware then of how strong the connection is if you still juggle the idea, the possibility, the fantasy. One day my ships will come in. How do we... Da, 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 da. You could be juggling more than one energy, true. Okay. I need to see this, and I need to see this. What's going on here? <laughs> the idea of our lover gives us a headache, yeah? Hmm. Also, is it over? The one you want is what you say you cannot have. It's ironic because they give you the most vitality, the sense of wholeness, well-being. They actually make you feel young again. Alive. So alive and in the sun. What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please. What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for Sagittarius. We don't do anything. We haven't done anything for sorts. It's not just about healing. It's also about not doing anything because we don't know what to do. Show me the Nine of Wands, please. There's a lot of sexual frustration here. Let's just get that out of the way. Uh, there's a lot of sexual frustration here. I don't need to be reading sexual tarot in order to see it. It's right there, okay? We have sexual frustration. We tell ourselves, this is bad, this is bad. I want this person and it's bad. It's the old left-right thing I was saying earlier. There's a reason I kept saying it. The hair font versus the devil, okay? Um, that I'm blocking, I'm blocking, I'm blocking, I'm blocking, I'm blocking, but I don't fucking want to, but I'm blocking, I'm blocking, I'm blocking, I'm blocking. Um, could literally have been with the Capricorn, but it's really that person who best personifies that sense of insecurity that uh, that puts you on the defense to begin with. Again, reverse energy as it applies. Somebody could have seen you that way. Like, that Sag is my devil, and I have to fight that connection, I have to fight the connection, I have to fight the connection. This is technically shared past, so you both experienced it to some extent. And somebody could have been thinking that same thing about you. That Sag is my devil. I'm attracted to him, and I can't have him. I can't have him. I can't have him. It's, it was a serious case of regret. Not for what happened, but for, for what didn't. We actively blocked it. And it was kind of assumed or relegated to the devil energy. Um, okay, anything else about the shared past, please? 
We kept ourselves emotionally distant from it, Eight of Cups. We would not allow ourselves to get emotionally involved in it. And the simple secret Seven of Swords energy is that strength in reverse. This person made us feel weak, but we didn't do anything either. We didn't do anything. We didn't do anything, but they make us weak, yeah? But we would not become emotionally attached to the situation. Some of the Six of Swords, you both kind of probably went your own ways, I'm guessing. Singular energy, Nine of Pentacles, uh, Nine of Wands, it was, oh my, yes. Show me the Six of Swords, shared mutual, please, shared mutual, you both went your own ways, as far as I can tell. Uh, show me the Six of Swords, please. Nine of Pentacles, okay. Somebody moved on in their singular energy, confident, or at least that's the perception we have here. And somebody still retained their frustration energy, since it is wanted energy, I'm guessing it's you. Um, Frustration. Frustration for how things were not resolved or things just, just blockage. Things were not resolved. You didn't like it. You don't like it. It, it. it just felt like it was left hanging right off the edge of a cliff. It just, it feels like the energy was left hanging. And it was unfulfilled energy. I can see that. That's, it's, it's not an accusation. It just is what it is. That's what the cards are saying. It was unfulfilled energy and we we're frustrated. We kept ourselves distant from it. Um, it felt wrong. It felt right. You know, it was all that, right? Heavy nine energy. Okay. We have a problem with being single and independent and free, making our own decisions. That's either you or them. But somebody here has that kind of single, confident energy, and the other person feels burdened by their sense of fire and freedom and their attraction and all that shit. Mm hmm. Okay, show me this king cup. So. Okay. Your heart space says that you are open and that you are satisfied. Uh, clarified by the King of Swords, Page of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles, not so much. There's um, a very cold decision here. Uh, to continue on in our investment. So, I'm looking at the side here at a pre-existing investment. I don't know how committed it is. I don't know. I really don't. And it could literally be with an Aquarius or Scorpio. Um, I truly don't know. But how far the commitment goes, I don't know. But it's a pre-existing investment. And it's like, well, fuck. I guess I'll continue to invest in this one again. Slow and steady rate. Okay. Um, you know, i got to turn my attention back on that investment. It's not terribly enthusiastic. It's not. I, I'll give you that. Uh... But I gotta continue cultivating that particular seven of pentacles. Um, it looks like this person's not, this other person's not an option. Okay, so this is your individual energy. Okay. Um, we're not terribly enthused about it. The other person is the ace of swords energy. Either you associate them with following their own truth in their pathway, or they have a clear sense of vision or clear sight. Um, they're strong truth tellers, they're very informatic, uh, or they just seem to follow their own pathway. And if they're pulling up the nine of pentacles, as you attribute them to, then I'm not terribly surprised that they pull the Ace of Swords. Show me this Ace of Swords, please. Um, but they have pain, too. Five of Cups. They have pain, too. They have a lot of regret and remorse surrounding you as well. Uh, clearly, you went back to an, an investment, some investment, something to which you're familiar with. Okay. Uh, I don't know that you ever left it in context to this person, and I don't know if you generated it after this person. I don't know. It's not really relevant. I know that sounds strange, but it's actually not relevant. What's relevant here is this energy that you felt a very strong pull to and somebody assumed it was devil energy. It was you or them, just basically sexual attraction. And so they intentionally, straight out the gate, kept their emotionality separate from the situation. Like, I refuse to become emotionally attached to this, it's no good. Um, and But if that's true, Sag, then why does it hurt so much? You know? It was obviously more than that. Obviously, more than that. Yes, sexual attraction was very fierce, but if you're having to tell yourself, don't develop feelings for this, don't develop feelings for this, don't, then obviously it was more than that. Obviously, it was more than that. If we're having to, if it was true, straight up devil energy, it, it, the emotions wouldn't have even been a, a concern. It wouldn't have even been a concern. We're watching, somebody's watching, Page of Swords, we're watching. 
some of you, this is for some of you, not all of you, look for ways to balance the, 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 the whatever this is. Some of you are watching and trying to actively learn how to justify what you experienced. Okay, 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 I see. Some of you are actively trying to learn how you can justify the experience. Uh, you don't need to. Attraction is natural. You know, you're a human being. You're going to experience whether you want it to or not. Okay. Um, you were alive in the world as a human being, and you experienced somebody else's energy that you very much wanted. It doesn't make you a bad person. Okay. Um, that means you were alive, and you had a pulse. Okay. If you were wondering if it meant something to them, yes, it did. They they might be a, a, a strong path follower. They might have a very clear vision or clear sight with that Ace of Swords, but I promise you they felt it. Five of Cups. I'm going to go ahead and take a guess. They're the ones who prompted um, the disconnect. Okay. Because they have, I'm sorry, Sag energy. I'm sorry. I didn't want to have to do this, but it's not balanced, it's not fair, something like that. And uh, they didn't want to, so they moved on. They took action, like I said, Knight of Swords. They took action. Again, reverse energies as it applies. Okay. Um, so, in the future here, sad, you know. Your happiness is what it looks like you're actively keeping yourself disconnected from. This one you told yourself is just double energy. It's no good. It's no good. It's no good. It's no good. You actually want to balance up with them as a lover. And they you. I promise you, they have regret for doing what they did. They didn't want to do it. And you either went back to a pre-existing relationship, one that you are very comfortable with, Seven of Pentacles, it, it, it's at a certain place of comfort, and um, you continue to contribute to it, low-level Page of Pentacles, your heart's not really in it, though. Um, I'm being honest. Your heart's not really in it. Okay. Um, I just don't want you to be in that place where you always wonder what might have been just because just because the sexual energy was so strong between you two doesn't automatically make it bad. I mean, again, that's that kind of trained thinking. You know, the stronger it is, it must be really, really bad. And that's true for many things in life, like, you know, drugs and alcohol and food. <laughs> okay. But not necessarily emotionality. You can be really turned on by somebody, and guess what? Still have the best intentions for them. It is possible to have those two things coexist simultaneously. I am turned on by you all day, every day, and P.S. I want the best for you. Those two things can exist at the same time. Okay. I can tell that this person did not want to do what they did. Alright, show me the sun, please. I just, I don't want you to be... Because this, this smacks of safety. Familiar. So we logically conclude to go back and invest in it. Okay. Um, there are two kings here. So I'm not saying they're not important people. What I am saying is that you're contributing what you need to contribute to something you already know. Okay. So it might have been when this person left, you went back to a pre-existing commitment. Chariot, move forward in the sun. Ah, uh, see? The sun and the moon. Oh, that should be. Yes, but we block it. There's the energy again. Block it, block it, block it, block it, block it. You know your greatest success story is written in the moon. The sun and the moon energy is the most glorious, balanced energy ever. And as far as I can tell, you still block it. You know who you want, and you say you can't have them. And, uh, I don't know, hell man, maybe this person's energy just took you by surprise, and you didn't know what to do with it. Reversing perhaps the other way they felt that way about you. I don't know what the hell to do with this Sag's energy. This 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 person's energy is just so intense and strong, and it's just it's all those things I'm not familiar with. It has to be bad because it's too fucking strong, right? It has to be bad. It has to be. You know, again, there's what we're told, and there's what's true, and 
The truth is, you could have a very strong balanced connection, but we are actively disconnected from it, as far as I can tell. Let's see if that changes. Show me the Five of Pentacles, please. Show me the Five of Pentacles, please. Show me that Five of Pentacles, please. There is the inclination. You know you could move forward to make this work if you wanted. There is the inclination there, but will you allow it? I don't think so, but we'll take a look. There's heavy Scorpio energy under here. You think they'd put up a fight? That they would be mad? Would they listen to me? There, or, or is there competition surrounding this person? Heavy Scorpio energy under the deck. Do they still have love for me either? Would they fight me? King of Cups, Five of Wands. This is all hypothetical. This isn't actual. This is hypothetical. This is more like the background noise to the story. Okay. So the King of Cups to the Five of Wands. Uh, would they fight me? Is there competition surrounding this person's heart space? Do they even love me anymore? Because death is over here to the Two of Cups. So the fact that you're questioning their love for you, you know this was more than just some devil energy shit. You know that. You fucking know it. You know it was more than devil energy shit. Do they still have feelings for me? You know this went beyond sexuality, right, Sad. Perhaps it's the other person that didn't have this downloaded, as it were, okay? But, uh, you know, do they still have feelings for me? Would it be a big fight? Would they put up a fight? Are they even available? Show me this page of cups, please. Show me this page of cups, please. I know what you want to do. I know what you want to do. Can you work through it? Can you work through it? Can you use your intuition to access the fact that you know you had feelings even though you said you didn't? Can you get to that place where you can say, I have feelings for this situation, for this person? Okay. Because we actively blocked it over here like it didn't happen. But can you get into that place? Can you get into that place that, that says, I recognize I have feelings for this person situation. I tried to make it about this one category in this one box. That way I had justification to not get attached to it and to push it away. Or it could be the reverse. But I am saying the energy, your energy, as you know what it is you want to do. But will you allow it? I see you want to connect with this person. I see it. But will you allow it? Yeah. Your blocking energy is strong, my Jedi friend. Pip. He is fastly becoming the harbinger of truth. <laughs> my guinea pig. And they say when he kicks up a fuss, pay attention. <laughs> you have strong blockage energy, my Jedi friend. You do indeed. Very strong. Your blockage energy, Sag, is phenomenal. Some Sages don't fight, you just block. It's like I will let the blockage speak for me. I don't have to use words or actions. I know what it is that you want to do. Will you allow it? Let's find out. Show me that Three of Swords over the Six of Cups, please. Show me that Three of Swords to the Six of Cups, please. Yeah, it's the truth. I know. I know. Until you can understand the feelings for the situation, the High Priestess, the Eight of Cups, until you can allow yourself. You will not know reciprocity or balance with this person until you can balance up with yourself first. Okay. Admit that you had feelings for this person or the situation that went beyond the sexual, and then you will understand what to do. And the more you act like you don't have feelings, you will never know justice. You'll never be able to justify the situation until you allow yourself to feel your feelings. And I'm sorry, it's vague, but it's also true. We opened up with you telling yourself whatever it is you needed to tell yourself in order to justify blocking the situation, including do not have feelings for this person. And you're never going to know true justification. That justification you want for this connection? Okay. 
you're not going to really know it until you allow yourself to feel it. What are your feelings for this situation and this person exactly? Because this Six of Cups, this soul bond, and they are a soul bond. Trust me. Um, it causes you pain. The only way you're going to be able to completely root out that pain is to admit you had feelings for them to begin with. And then you will know justice. You will know peace. You don't have to reconnect with this person if you don't want the idea that gives you anxiety. Of course it would. Um, you don't have to reconnect with this person if you don't want, but I promise you now, you're never going to heal from this situation until you admit you had feelings for this person. Okay. Uh, and that's when you will know if you were in pre-existing commitments, investments as it were, then I, I don't know when you went back to this investment or you put your attention back on it because that's what it feels like to me. I'm looking at it as you put their attention back on their commitment back to the slow, steady, safe, comfortable pace. Um, I don't know. You might have told yourself anything, anything I feel for somebody outside of my commitment is automatically devil energy. That's kind of what it feels like to me. I could be wrong. And obviously that's something we tell ourselves that it's not, and that's not true at all. That would be something we tell ourselves. Okay, that's there's no truth in that. Anything I feel outside my commitment energy has to be devil. Has to be devil. Well, that's just not true, is it? You can have connections with people all the time. And they're of different values and different degrees. But if this is what we've trained ourselves to think, anything outside my investment or commitment is is betrayal. It's It's wrong, it's wrong, it's wrong. Well, that just can't be true now, can it? Otherwise, we wouldn't have connections with anybody outside of our commitments. Doesn't matter, family, friend, your fucking pet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Different people in our lives mean different things. This person went beyond sexual energy, and you know it. And until you can understand that you had feelings for this person, you're never really going to feel peace. As long as you keep acting like it didn't happen. Okay. Or you didn't feel it is more to the point. I'm not saying you have to reconnect with them. I know that you want to. Um, and if you're looking for justification for what happened, simply you have feelings for this person and you want to, you want them to not be true, but it is true. Okay. Um, even in the context of you not having a commitment with someone else, again, I'm not saying third party. I'm saying a very strong attraction to somebody very strong attraction to somebody that you refuse to develop feelings for, regardless of you either being in a pre-existing commitment or you went back to an old one because it was comfortable and safe. And again, this is the confrontation of something that is very strong quality, very strong quality, but we pushed it away because it was provoking too much of what we're not familiar with. Okay. Um, show me the two of pentacles, please. Show me the two of pentacles. You're undecided about what to do. That's the long and short of it because you do see, look at that. You still struggle with this. You are presented something very strong and very new. You weren't expecting it. You didn't expect it to be so damn strong and it just confronted you too much at one time, something like that. And you've been looking for reasons to justify it ever since, honey. You don't have to justify it. It was a natural connection you felt with somebody and it went beyond sexuality, even though we tried to tell ourselves it was exactly that. And if it was just sexuality, this whole Sag don't develop feelings for them concept wouldn't be here. Okay. It was scary, I guess. The immediate reaction is pushed away. It's got to be bad. It's got to be bad, right? But we can't leave the idea alone either what this person represented. Okay, we can't leave it alone. Two of Pentacles for Two of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Confusion, Indecision, what do I do? You know, B is the Hermit, Card of Virgo. Like I said, I see where your inclination lies, is to open up, but it's all theoretical. I see you wanting to reconnect. Um, but I don't think you're gonna I don't think you're going to allow it because, like I said, your blockage energy is so very strong here. Um, I don't think you're going to allow it, at least not until you understand what this connection actually meant to you emotionally and what it cost you, okay, to give it up or to not engage in it. 
Okay. And then when we take full responsibility of our emotional selves for the situation and or person, then you will have a better idea of what to do. But um, we're, we're still thinking about it to this day. Two of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. What exactly did I give up? What exactly did I block? What exactly did I turn away? And, uh, you know, you got to address those emotions, honey. You got to address the emotions. Stop blocking your emotions. Stop blocking your emotions. I know. You think you can think your way around it. I know. You think you can. You think if I just think enough thoughts, eventually I'll work this shit out. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. You're not thinking your way out of this one. You gotta feel your way out of this one. You gotta feel your feelings. You can't think your way out of it. You gotta feel your feelings, and only then will you know justification. When King of Pentacles, that's confirmation for some of you, not all of you. <sighs> only when you allow yourself to feel your feelings that they're valid and they're real, and then they happened. It wasn't just about intense sexual shit. There's real feelings were developed here, here and there. Only then will you know peace and justification. Okay. And then you'll have a better idea of what to do. I already know you know what it is you want to do, but you're going to block it until you can feel your feelings. Okay. Saj, I hope this was helpful to you. Put in the comments as you see fit. Take care. Be well.